for those who are trying to get into VR games, but as it turns out, you find out too late that your phone doesn't have a gyroscope, all is not lost. So, basically, when you go to get a phone, or if you already have your phone and you went and bought a VR headset, you really should find something or have something for a device, a mobile device with a gyroscope in it. That's where you'll get your most games and apps to work properly. Now the problem is when you go looking at the specifications for a device, there are a lot of different websites will give you two or three or four different stories as to whether or not it's got a gyroscope. That if the website in question happens to even list gyroscope in the specifications of your phone. So let's say you've already got a phone. In this case it's a cloud phone Excite Prime. Now this one happens to belong to Magic Babe. Yes, the still shy, camera shy Magic Babe who's currently outside playing on my phone. Anyways, to find out for certain if you have a gyroscope or not, you take and install, download and install this app here, Hardware Info. Okay, when you run it, you see this one's a Cloud Phone Excite Prime. You got an ARM7 processor. Ah, this one's an octa-core, 1.3 gigahertz, about 2 gigs of RAM. That's lovely. Well, we take a look at the sensors. Now we got the accelerometer, <coughs> sorry, proximity, light, orientation, magnetic field. But now we got all these virtual sensors, which were installed later. But as you can see, the initial five that were on here, these first five, okay, there's no gyroscope. So you got accelerometer, compass, uh, magnetic field sensor also serves as a compass. Okay, we'll take a look at these uh, virtual sensors later. So basically, there's no gyroscope on this thing. Now, the easy method is to find VR apps and games that don't actually require a gyroscope. You look here, we have VR Player Free. That one allows you to set the gyroscope, the orientation provider, as the compass and accelerometer. Now you have this other game over here on the left, VR Bike. That one, and there are similar games, there are other games that uh, will work without the gyroscope being installed. You don't even have to worry about it. Oops. But you look at something like Zombie Stand VR, that one does need a gyroscope. So how do we fix that? Well, we use the not-so-easy method. But luckily, lately, it has become a lot easier to deal with. So, first we have to find out what we got for hardware in here. Specifically, your processor an ARM7. Okay. Now at ARM7 and below, those are 32-bit processors. At ARM8 and above, those are 64-bit processors. From there, you download and install the exposed installer app. That's right, just the app. Apparently recently the installation for Exposed became a whole lot easier. So on this one, on this particular phone, from what I was told, all she did was just install this app and there's a... there's supposed to be an install showing here. Oh, that's right, because it's not online. Hmm. Well, anyways, if this was online, you would see right, right in this area here, 
a method to install the exposed framework. That's what you need, which is right here. This one is version 87. Basically, there's an install button. You tap it. It'll uh, install the framework, the exposed framework, and then you reboot. You're good to go. From there, you just need modules. And yes, this is a rooted phone. From what I was told, it was rooted about, what, 30 seconds out of the box. Now, these two happen to be not working on this phone. Yes, this is a bit of a hit and miss sort of situation. So, on this particular phone, the Cloud Phone Accent Prime, it didn't really work too well. However, there are other phones where it will work very well. Now, we'll try the zombie stand here. This will take a few moments. And you just let it load. And of course, this particular game was actually quite fun. I've tried it before on a different phone. You know, to play, there's the VR, pick something. See, those two, uh, the virtual sensor and the gyro emulator from Exposed are supposed to imitate the gyroscope and trick your device into thinking you have one. Now, when I turn this left and right, it's supposed to be able to move the view around. Now, as you can see, when I look up and down, as though this was in a VR headset, I move the phone here, just sitting in my hand, but yet up and down works, but side to side doesn't. So yeah, it's going to be a hit and miss sort of thing with uh, whatever phone you happen to be using. Now, like I said, the easiest method, just find the apps and games that don't need a gyroscope. There are plenty of them out there. Or give the exposed framework and install uh, a try. As it turns out, this one here is version 3.11 which made the installation very very easy okay and then once your modules are installed you reboot it you reboot your phone you'll be all set and give it a try and that'll do